Did you know that nearly 80% of people in their 30s are making financial mistakes that could haunt them for decades? Many of us in our 30s are juggling careers, families, and dreams. But what if I told you that ignoring a few key financial decisions now could set you up for a lifetime of stress and missed opportunities? The reality is that debt, saving shortfalls, and poor investment choices are common pitfalls in our 30s, often driven by a lack of awareness and planning. It is very easy to get lost in daily grind and putting off thinking about long-term goals, but this could lead to a future filled with regret. But here's the thing, it is never too late to turn things around. So in this video, I'm going to share with you practical tips and insights on how to avoid these seven common financial mistakes and set yourself up for long-term success. So stay with me and let's make sure that your 30s become the decade that builds financial freedom and not one that sabotages it. So mistake one is failing to create a budget, which is one of the major financial pitfalls. Without a clear picture of your income and your expenses, it is very easy to lose track of our spending and make poor financial decisions. By creating a budget, we can identify areas where we can cut back and make more intentional financial decisions. We can prioritize our goals and allocate our resources accordingly. Mistake two is failing to diversify our income streams. This is also one of the major financial mistakes we all do. Relying on one single source of income can be risky, especially in today's uncertain job market. But by diversifying our income streams, we can reduce our financial risk and in this way, increase our earning potential. Next, let's talk about something that can quickly creep into our lives, especially when you're in your 30s, and that is lifestyle inflation. Picture this with me. You've worked so hard. You've climbed the corporate ladder, and finally, your income starts to grow. This is a very exciting time. You start getting more and more money than ever before, and it feels like it's the perfect time to reward yourself. Maybe buying a new luxury car, a bigger house, or even indulging in a fancy vacation. After all, you deserve it. But here's the catch. As your income grows, so do your expenses, often without you even realizing it. This is what we call lifestyle inflation. When your spending starts to increase with your income, eating up the extra cash that you could have used to build wealth or secure your future. Lifestyle inflation is a silent thief robbing you of your financial future. It lures you into a false sense of security, making you feel wealthy without actually building wealth. The truth is, living paycheck to paycheck isn't just for those that are struggling to make ends meet. It can also happen for those that are earning six figures if they leave lifestyle inflation take over. But here's the good news. You have the power to break that cycle. Instead of letting your expenses get out of control, Consider this, what if you could maintain a modest lifestyle and funnel that extra income into savings, into investments, or paying off debt? What if you use the money to build a future that offers true financial freedom rather than just appearing wealthy? By resisting the urge to inflate your lifestyle, you can start building real wealth. It is not about denying yourself pleasure or living frugally forever. It's about making conscious choices that align with your long-term goals. Remember, the goal isn't to look rich, but to be rich. And that means making sacrifices today that will pay off tomorrow. Mistake four, neglecting saving for retirement. Let's take a moment to look ahead beyond the hustle of today and into the future. So picture this with me. You're in your 60s or 70s a time when you should be enjoying the fruits of your labor, traveling, pursuing your hobbies, and spending quality time with your family. But now, imagine instead of relaxing, you're burdened with financial stress, worrying about how to make ends meet. This is a harsh reality for many people who, in their 30s, neglected the crucial task of saving for retirement. Here is a startling fact. Nearly 60% of people in their 30s have little to nothing saved for retirement. It is easy to understand why. In your 30s, retirement can seem like a distant event. 
something that you can worry about later. After all, there is so many pressing demands today on your income right now, like buying a house, raising kids, growing your business, or simply enjoying life. Retirement feels like decades away, so it is tempting to put off saving for it. But here is the reality. Time is your greatest, greatest asset when it comes to building a retirement fund. The earlier you start, the more you benefit from the power of compound interest, where your savings generate earnings, and those earnings generate more earnings, of course. Mistake five is accumulating debt. Let's talk about a silent but powerful force that can derail your financial future, which is debt. Debt is like a shadow that follows you everywhere. In your 30s, it is easy to accumulate debt without even realizing how deeply it can impact your life. From student loans, mortgages, car payments, credit cards, and even business loans, debt can pile up quickly, creating that burden that is so hard to shake off. But did you know that the average person in their 30s carries over $42,000 in debt? That is a staggering number. And what is more alarming is how easily this debt can spiral out of control. Debt often starts innocently enough. You might take out a loan to buy a car, to buy a home, use credit cards to cover unexpected expenses. These decisions may seem manageable in the short term, but as the interest occurs and the balances grow, debt can become a heavy weight on your financial shoulders. Suddenly, the money you should be saving for your future is being eaten up by the monthly payments, interest rates, and fees. One of the most common traps in your 30s is lifestyle inflation. The tendency to increase your spending as your income grows. It is easy to justify a new car, bigger house, luxury vacations when you're making more money. But if these purchases are financed through debt, they can quickly lead to financial stress. What feels like a reward for your hard work can turn into a financial trap that limits your freedom and flexibility. Financial mistake six is failing to invest. Imagine you're standing at the edge of a forest and in front of you, there's a trail that if you follow that trail, it will lead you to hidden treasure. But instead of taking that first step, you hesitate, choosing to stay where you are, comfortable but not progressing. This is what it's like when you fail to invest, especially in your 30s. Did you know that the average person who starts investing in their 20s can potentially retire with twice as much wealth as someone who waits until they are in their 30s to begin? Yet, so many people in their 30s put off investing, thinking they will start when they have more money or when life gets less hectic. The truth is, waiting to invest can cost you more than you realize. Investing is like planting seeds in the garden. The earlier you plant, the more time those seeds have to grow, and the bigger your harvest will be. Your 30s are critical time to start and ramp up your investment efforts because time is your greatest ally when it comes to building wealth. The power of compound interest means that the money you invest in now has the potential to grow exponentially over the years. But here's the challenge. Many people in their 30s are caught up in the day-to-day -day demands of life. You may be focused on advancing your career, raising the family, or managing your business. It's easy to think, I will invest when I have extra money or I will start next year. But every year you delay is a missed opportunity, an opportunity for your money to work for you. Financial mistake seven, not having an emergency fund. Picture this with me. You're driving down this smooth highway, you're enjoying the journey, and suddenly, from nowhere, your car breaks down. You're miles away from the nearest town, and the repair costs are through the roof. Now, imagine you have no spare tire, no road assistance, and no money set aside for emergencies. That's what life feels like when you don't have an emergency fund. Did you know that nearly 60% of people face unexpected expenses every year? But fewer than 40% have enough savings to cover a $1,000 emergency. An emergency fund is your financial safety net. It's not just a nice to have, it's a must to have, 
especially in your 30s when your financial responsibilities are at their peak. Whether it's a sudden medical expense, a major car repair, or even a business setback, having a cushion to fall back on can mean the difference between a minor inconvenience and a financial catastrophe. These are some of the financial mistakes that you should try by all means to avoid. If you got any value in this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. As always, I thank you for watching and see you in the next video.